<sighs> going to continue with this little thing before we move on to. Huh. I meant the comment section, not not Bill Maher's little thing. We we all know Bill Maher's a little wiener, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> I just find it hilarious that he's going to sit here and tell us how unintelligent grown people are for reading comic books. Oh, hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, Bill Maher, if you're so smart, why do you suck at everything you do? Let's see, let's see, let's see. You're a shitty comedian who, again, biggest claim to fame is that for some fucking reason, I don't know why you were in House 2 for like five minutes wasting the fucking screen time. And then your lame ass somehow was also in Cannibal Women, which I've never seen because it's a really shitty movie. And probably the most boring thing to ever be, you know, put to celluloid. But you're going to diss Stanley, who's had cameos in countless blockbuster films. Some not even through Marvel. He's been in a lot of Jay and Silent Bob movies. He's been in DC movies. He's been all over the place. Your punk ass hasn't been anywhere. Ooh. And then you somehow became a political analyst because apparently every washed up sorry ass comedian who couldn't fucking tell a joke to save their fucking life has decided to become a left leaning political analyst. Not dissing the left. You do you. I'm just noticing there are quite a few of you. From Al Franken to you to. I don't know, the list is there. I don't give a shit. It was fucking boring anyway. But seriously. You can't tell a joke to save your fucking life. I mean, what what are you known for? Opening for Polly Shore? What? what? What have you done that anyone gives a flying fuck about? Once in a while, because you were friends, you were on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Sorry for Jay for having bad taste in friends. He's a very talented man, but you are a worthless pile of shit, Bill Moore. You are ugly beyond belief. I mean, seriously, you turn your head, people have to duck. Your nose is so goddamn large, if you lay on your back, you can block out the sun. I mean, the only way you would get an acting job is if they decide to make a Fruit Loops movie and they want you to star as Toucan Sam. You got the nose for it. All they have to do is fucking paint your nose rainbow and shove a feather duster up your ass. Just... Fan. So the fact that you're calling people unintelligent or not adult, well, I have a job, asshole. I've had several jobs, probably more than you ever will, of actually making money doing my own thing and paying for my own shit. And I've seen several successful people reading comic books. <laughs> Elvis was still reading comic books as an adult. Bogey. Fucking, you know, there, there's all sorts of different things on the internet you can find of very successful people reading comics. And, and you know, the president that you, you want to kiss the butt of, Obama, was in a comic book because he liked him so much. Was featured on an issue of Spider-Man and was happy. Come on his wife's hair looking like Conan. He knows who Conan is. And also knows the Death Star, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of that particular president, but it is interesting, the leader of the free fucking world. At one time, thank God he got fired. But at one time, the guy who was once the free to the world before we wised up and, and elected someone smarter <laughs> read comic books. So, I'm not sure where you're getting your facts. I guess you're just pulling them out of your ass, maybe? I don't know. Is it a cheap wine in hookers? Because let's be honest, other than your wife, no woman is ever going to want to touch you, you nasty, ugly-looking thing. But hey, with a nose that big, you can disappoint two women at once. I hate going on with the list of people who have done comics... Several novelists have come back to do comics. 
So, how, why are these successful novelists now doing comic books if they're such childish, mindless entertainment? You, you have an explanation? C can you pull one out of your bony ass? No. Huh. How about that? I, I'm curious here. Because, again... That one went the 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 Neil Gaiman Midnight Summer's Night Dream award, comic won an award in literature, in the fancy pensy literature that you think you read. Let's be honest, Bill Maher, you're still on the fourth fourth page of the Valley of the Fucking Dolls. Okay. I've got tons of novels I read all the fucking time. Zippity fucking doodah fucking day. And I can still read a bunch of comics as well. <laughs> Granted, I don't read anything above the 90s, anything written after the 90s, because, ugh. But still, there have been tons of well-written, interestingly, universe-making comics. Many of your great novelists came back to write comics. Uh, why is that if they're such cheap children entertainment? I I'm not understanding. You see, your point doesn't work. Why did Roddenberry, a man who's a genius and great <laughs> at understanding things, allow his property be to be adapted into comic books? Why has William Shatner not only written books, but comics? And I I'm, I'm kind of curious here. If it's such mindless children's entertainment, what's going on here? Jim Butcher went back to write the adaptation for Spider Man in a book form, but he wrote Spider Man. So explain to me. Why is a man who's got novels that regularly appear on the New York Times bestselling list going back to write comic books if they're such mindless drivel? Yes, it's a book, but it's still based on a comic book character, and I'm sure if he had the time, he'd... Oh, in his own book series... Harry Dresden... The Dresden Files have been adapted into comic books. Some of him, some of them, he've writ he has written. The whole the vampire thing that was making money at one time, which fuck I don't remember. Anyway, they had comic book adaptations. Why has Anne Rice allowed and almost basically writ? Well, she didn't write them, but she wrote the main thing and the adaptation of Interview in the Vampire and Tales of the Body Thief and several other stories from her dark universe gotten into comics.